Why is it that the Catholic Bible has more books than the Protestant? That's a great question. In fact, let me uh, shamelessly plug Shameless Popery. My new podcast, episode one of the podcast, it answers that question at a much greater length than I'm going to right here. So uh, the shorter answer is that there are seven books that you'll find in a Catholic Bible that you won't find in a Protestant Bible. And the reason is because at the time of Jesus, there was some dispute among the Jews about which books did and didn't belong uh, in the Bible. And uh, you had a Greek version of the Bible called the Septuagint. That is usually the version of the Bible quoted from by Jesus and the apostles in the New Testament. But then you had shorter Hebrew versions. And that Greek version uh, had these seven books that are, you know, uh, from the 400 years leading up to the birth of Christ. The Hebrew version uh, stops about 400, 450 years before the time of Christ. So the early Christians used the Greek version. They used the, the longer version. We find uh, the book of Tobit, Sirach, Judith, uh, the longer forms of Esther and Daniel, uh, the book of Wisdom, and the book of Sirach being quoted by the early Christians. And we also find some of those books used uh, by rabbinical authorities as well. So, for instance, in the Jewish Talmud, uh, Sirach is quoted as scripture on multiple occasions, uh, although it is eventually concluded by later rabbis not to be part of the Bible. So eventually, uh, the Jewish leaders, the descendants of the Pharisees, the rabbis, uh, push out these other seven books and say, we don't consider them canonical. Even though many of their predecessors had considered them canonical, they were never universally agreed upon. Uh, and so they go with a shorter canon. And so the early Christians very clearly knew that their Old Testament was longer than the Old Testament of their Jewish neighbors. Uh, Origen talks about this in around the year 200. And uh, we find really widespread acceptance of this longer Bible. So Catholics continue to use the longer Bible used by the early Christians that is inherited from the Greek-speaking Jews of the time of Christ, who you know are using the Septuagint that Jesus and the apostles use. And uh, the movement to have the shorter books of the Bible without any of the Greek books and without the New Testament, that is a, a push against uh, what's called Hellenization and against Christianity from a few centuries after the time of Christ. And so we don't accept that kind of move in later rabbinical Judaism, whereas Protestants use that Old Testament. Um, and, and so the real question is, why do they reject the consensus or virtual consensus of 1500 years of Christianity. And so another way to put that is, if someone came along today and said, hey, everybody got the wrong Bible, here are the books you ought to have, I think you would recognize that and say, that doesn't seem reliable. Because if God is the one in control and he's leading his people into the truth, why would he lead the entire church into the wrong Bible for 2000 years? We could say the same thing. Why would he lead the entire church into the wrong Bible for 1500 years. And so that's that's the general reason that because we trust the consensus of the early Christians, uh, because we trust that the same God who inspired the scriptures also sent the Holy Spirit to ensure we didn't lose them and didn't misunderstand them, uh, because Jesus at the Last Supper promises to send the spirit of truth to lead the church into all truth. For those reasons, we, we trust the longer uh, form of the Bible that the early Christians used. <laughs>